Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for another episode of the Review Channel. Today, we're going to be talking about cleaning the components in your stereo. So I picked up a couple of cool stereos. I picked up this amplifier and also picked up this uh, tuner. A couple of vintage JVC tuners and amplifiers at a local thrift store. And I'm going to resell them. And they're really kind of cool. So they're really kind of old. I think I would say probably from the 80s. And the problem is they work perfectly. And they were $30 a piece. So it was a good deal. I think I can sell these for about... 150 to 200 for the pair maybe more right around there plus shipping um, but you can see here these controls are staticky okay so what happens is they get old and they get gummy so you want to be able to fix them and repair them so you can use them uh, you can resell them so they're very easily repairable very easily fixed so the rheostats are inside here they control the balance the treble the bass and the volume so the volume is like the biggest one so it has all the static and you no know, it's kind of annoying you don't want to sell it saying it has static this and that so what you want to do is you want to repair it and they sell this and i did some i went online and i googled how to fix uh components and how to fix static um stereo components and so forth and i want to share with you how to fix it and how you can do it um, so if you see electronics, you can do it yourself. So, I found this very cool stuff. Okay. Deoxid D5. Okay. I'm sure you've seen it online. You've heard about it. Um, so this stuff is very cool. Um, I believe it has 5% of the, that's why I call it the D5, 5% of the active ingredient that helps remove all the oxidation on the components that causes all the static. So, what happens over time with all the electrical current running through the components that these all get full of like gum or a little film, little dirt and dust, and they get staticky. And that's just how these components were back in the day. Um, they're excellent quality, but they do get dirty. Um, so this here, you spray this on the components, you let it dry, and it helps clean them so it works like brand new. It's amazing. <clears throat> so we're going to do this. We're going to spray them. I'm going to show you how to spray them. Um, we're going to go over it, and then everything should be awesome. So let's let's get to it. So I went, ahead, I went ahead and took off the four screws. There was two screws here and two screws on this side here. So we're going to take this cover off, and we're going to see what we got, and we're going to spray it, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so I hope you can see. All set up here. So I'm going to take off the cover, and I'm going to show you. I took off the four screws already. I'm going to take off the cover. And it comes off fairly. All these old electronics are really pretty easy to work on. The cover comes off. It's pretty clean inside, as you can see. And here's the components inside here. I hope you can get a good look. I'm just so these are the rheostats in here. So you got a control here, 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 and here. So these are all the controls here. These the other ones have to be cleaned. So they all get dirty inside here. Hopefully you can see. So they get dirty inside here. I'll point with the, with the can so you can see better. So you want to spray in here, you want to spray in here, spray here, and spray here. And that's going to clean up the gum, uh, release all the oxidation, clean the components, and everything's going to sound better and be smooth, and it's going to be clean and clear. And we're going to check it out after. We're going to turn it on, we're going to get it rocking and rolling and see how it sounds. So let's get to it and spray this and see what happens. So what I like to do, I don't like to get to get to make up. First of all, make sure it's unplugged. That's number one. And I try to when I have it all apart, I try to clean it up. You know, make it look decent. So, <clears throat> so I like this. It's gonna probably drip down a little bit below, and it's it said it's safe for the components, so you don't have to worry. So you would just spray a little bit. So a little bit goes a long way. You give it a little shake. Okay. This is the first time I'm using this, so you know I'm gonna check this out and see how this works. Yeah, let's see here how to use it. Mm -hmm. All right, this is a spray top. I thought that was it. So you just a little spray pat on the top right here. I guess that's how it works. Well, let's see. You spray that. Spray that. Spray that one. And spray that one. So my understanding is it's a wet formula. And the idea is that it drips. And let it drip and let it dry on its own and it releases all the gunk inside 
and then give the knobs a couple of little turns, you know, give them some turns so that way they, they work them into the components. And that's what we're going to do right here. I'm just going to work this around. Just like that. And just keep working them around. And I think what happens is it just breaks up and dissolves everything. It's supposed to be pretty cool. So I'm excited about this stuff. So let's give them a little shot. One more shot in here. Shot over here. Shot over there. Okay. Okay, so let's let that dry. Let's check in with me in about maybe 15 minutes. I'll come back and then we'll see how it sounds. Okay, so after I let it sit a few minutes, um, basically hooked everything back up, hooked up a speaker, <clears throat> put the power on, and let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Last time I did this, every time I turned the volume up and down, it was staticky, it was crackling, it was just horrible. Let's see what it sounds like now. I don't want to go too loud because of YouTube uh, issues with um, copyright, but as you can see, perfect. No static, good as new. This stuff's the greatest. So I recommend this a thousand percent. Check it out if you have any static components, if you want to re fix things up, if you want to make them sound great, make them work as like brand new basically. This stuff's the best. A couple squirts and you're done. Great. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate it. Um, thanks for watching. Share this video. If anybody has issues with electronics or components, share the video. Talk about this um, uh, this product. I do recommend it. It's a great product. Fix your electronics. Make things like new. These things you just can't find anymore. This is a great old vintage, beautiful sounding stereo. I mean, I thought, I'm not sure if I want to sell it. <laughs> it's really awesome. So hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe below. It does help me out quite a bit. I do appreciate that. So I can do more videos like this and to show you um, how products like this work and also how to repair items like this. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day.